Yo, what is going on, you guys? So today I'm bringing you guys a brand new sports cards video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be just showing you guys the sports cards I've been buying today. Um, some guys I really believe in, feel really strongly about, and dropping a lot of money, and I believe you guys should as well on these players I'm about to mention. But before we get into that, I do want to say, as you guys know, I have my membership program. I'm at Sports Card Invest on Instagram. And um, we've been making a lot of money. I drop weekly reports every Monday of 10 players I believe will go up, 10 players I believe should be sold, and 10 card or three cards, three long-term NBA investments. Um, so those, that's basically my membership program. If you guys aren't interested, go ahead to my Instagram at sportscardinvest and um, shoot me a message, and I will go ahead and get you set up. And we'll be ready to make some good money. So go ahead and do that if you guys are interested in learning some in-depth tips before it comes to my YouTube channel. And a lot more, I guess, diversity than what I showcase on here. Um, but before we get into that, um, or without further ado, we're going to hop right into the video. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, so this is basically some guys I'm investing in. As you guys know, I mentioned him the last three videos. The Shaquille O'Neal is way underpriced. As you guys know, Kobe's same 1996 Tops PSA 10 has just skyrocketed from 300 to around, I think, 1,200 it is today um, in a span of maybe two, three weeks max. Um, so I believe that Shaq is extremely undervalued. Here's why. If there's a Kobe documentary, number one, Shaq is a huge part of that. He was basically had so many ties with Kobe. They won championships together. Shaq also um, won championships with the Heat. I believe that if either one of those documentaries comes out, Dwayne Wade said he had one um, coming out about the 2008. I just believe that if there's any documentary, which pretty much every documentary is going to feature Shaq, even the Jordan documentary is going to start to feature Shaq pretty soon um, towards the end of Jordan's career. So I just believe Shaq is extremely underpriced. Great guy to invest in. Not much risk. High rewards. Um, he's on TV all day. He's a cultural phenom. And I just strongly believe in Shaq. And I'm stacking up with as much Shaq as I can get right now. Um, second one is obviously Kevin Durant. That's another guy I'm investing in a lot right now. Um... Here we go. Just buying some like 2008 Tops Chrome. I've been buying, obviously, you guys know a bunch of just the 2007 Tops. Um, but yeah, I think Kevin Durant's extremely undervalued. I mentioned him in my last video as well. Um, there's obviously is Kevin Durant. He's gonna come back if he comes back healthy and strong, which I'm pretty sure he will. Um, and he's in a huge market in Brooklyn, close to New York. Yeah, I believe that card will be going up a lot and that is one guy i'm going heavy on right now and when i say heavy i mean heavy um pretty much every second purchase of mine right now on instagram or facebook is kevin durant um so yeah that's pretty much my second investment um and then some other guys i'm investing in flip it to football for a second i think brian lewerke um he just got he was an undrafted quarterback just got signed to the patriots and as soon as the patriots signed him I went on eBay and basically bought out everything um, because I believe that if he turns out to be the starting quarterback of the Patriots and he can win some games under Belichick, obviously Belichick's probably the best coach of all time, I believe that this card will be going up a lot. This is kind of like a high risk, very high reward card. Um, I'm not expecting to get much money back out of this, maybe my money back if he turns out to be bad or not, or a backup or whatever. But I'm really betting on this kid. I believe he has a lot of potential. Um, from watching him from a, for a while, I've been basically, you know, as soon as he went to the Patriots, I was like, okay, if he has an opportunity, he has a chance to be, you know, a, a, you know, a star one day. And I think under Belichick, that's the perfect place to be. So I've just been stacking up on some Brian Lewerke. And I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and buy some if you have some money lying around that you're not looking to get your money back in, you know, in the next few months. I think in a year, if he gets his opportunity, proves himself, yeah, that's going to be a very expensive card. Um, so that's one of the guys I'm investing in. I did sell off my Isaiah Thomas, um, but there are some other guys I'm investing in. For example, Victor Oladipo. 
Um, I've never seen a star of his caliber be this cheap right now, at least. Um, Victor Oladipo was people forgetting he was an all star. He was just injured. He will hopefully come back. Obviously, it was a freakish injury, and I'm not quite sure how exactly he's going to come back. But as he came back, um, he was looking really nice, obviously, as he came back from his injury. And I'm betting on him to go back to where he was, um, pick up where he left off before his injury. And I'm betting on him to definitely be a star again. And I think $60 for your PSA 10 Oladipo is an extreme steal probably 70 out the door because shipping and tax but definitely a very good buy that i'm excited about i think if he turns out to be you know go back to his usual self that should be easily a two three hundred dollar card so that's some guy i mean that's another guy i'm investing in obviously darren fox always investing in him i invested a little bit in Kyrie before he went up um which was good because obviously people are now looking towards next season. Obviously, if there is a playoffs this season, which I think personally, by July, we're going to have some basketball. And if we do have basketball in July, you guys know Kevin Durant will be back. Kyrie will be back. And they could potentially stun the number two Raptors and um, make a run in the playoffs together. So that would be pretty crazy. I have bought um, a lot of KDs, as you guys know. I have probably about 15 to 20 KDs in total. Um, from Facebook, Instagram, and eBay. Um, I try, obviously, first to find lots on Facebook and Instagram so I don't have to pay any shipping or I don't have to pay any tax. But um, obviously, that's not always you know, reliable. At some point, you have to go to eBay and pick up some that you can find at a good price. But yeah, those are pretty much the guys I'm investing in today. Let me know who else you guys are investing in. Maybe you know we could start this, this discussion in the comments. And um, those are my picks as of now. Every couple days, I have a new guy who I'm who's on my radar, and then I just you know do a little bit more research. So I usually have guys in on my radar for a few days, and then as soon as I, I guess as soon as I start to do more research and figure out exactly what I want to spend on them, I just go in and buy up a ton. So I really hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead, let me know on Instagram if you would be interested in my membership program because that will get you um, front lines of all my investments. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed and I'm out. Peace.